Welcome back to News Geelong, this Friday edition, as we turn our attention to the world of Geelong sport and our very own Flying Hawk, the hot Nathan Curry. He's out at the Geelong Arena. Good evening, Nathan. Thank you very much, Rollo. I'm here at the arena to witness the first ever aspiring Supercats program. It's a brand new initiative that aims to teach kids with a bit of basketball talent what it's like to be a Supercat. And who better to show them the ropes than senior head coach Jamie O'Loughlin? And I caught up with him to find out more. So how did the idea for the program first come about? Um, we spoke last year, um, at the start of the year, about trying to make sure that we gave um, you know, really good opportunity to local basketball players to be part of the Supercats program. And um, in looking, you know, putting a microscope uh, onto the program, we saw there were some gaps um, and, and it made it difficult, I think, for people to understand how they could become a Supercat. So, um, you know, this program is, is the beginning for us, um, you know, getting to under 16, under 18 kids that are, you know, really dedicated to their basketball and giving them the chance to come and experience um, a little bit of what it's like to be a Supercat player. And what do you have in store for these boys? Uh, plenty of hard work, uh, no doubt. Um, but then again, you know that's no different to the way we would treat the Supercats players as well. I mean, they come to practice and, and we work extremely hard. Um, so it'll be the same thing here. Um, but certainly, you know, a focus on on some basics for us to make sure that the, their fundamentals are sound. Um, and then we're also getting into some concepts of play, particularly through some some three on three play. You had a meeting with them before. What did you go through there? Uh, yeah, look, tonight was um, it was our second night here, uh, but uh, it was in a way it was our introduction. So um, we we had the guys go through a tour of the facility at the back, um, you know, through our through our change rooms and, and gym, and, and we spoke about it, you know how we use those areas and what we do out there. Um, and then we just spoke about um, you know the, the the program being an inaugural program, and it's um, you know pretty special for them to be selected as part of that. Um, and then presented them with their t-shirts for, um, for the program as well. And why is it so important to get local kids to become Supercats? Is there like a limit or on how many imports you're allowed to have in the team? Um, look, we can have two what are called restricted players, so which are normally uh, American players. Um, that's been the way for quite some time. But uh, that, a restricted player could also be an NBL player um, or from you know some other country. Uh, with there has been a few other um, players from around the world playing. Australia is restricted, um, so you know a couple of players uh, are allowed. But uh, the majority have to be you know Australian guys that don't play at the top level. Um, so you know it's it's difficult to. Um, to attract those players, you know, to your town, um, and uh, so that's one aspect of it. And the other is that it's always been part of the the SuperCats, um, you know, idealism that they would, you know, provide opportunity for local players. So uh, it's important that there is a strong pathway there for these guys to develop and play. And at the moment, have you, has any of the kids captured your eye at the moment? Do you think they've got a chance? Oh, look, I actually, you know, we've worked with them once. Um, this is our second session. I, I see a lot of potential in the group. Um, there's some really good athletes in the group and uh, I was quite pleased with uh, their understanding uh, of general principles of play last week. So it'd be good to sort of maybe push them a little bit further and see how much they can, they can take on board. Oh, we'll have to keep our eye out for them in the future. Thanks for your time. No worries. Thanks very much. Well, by the way, the kids are going about their basketball behind me. I think they've got a great future in store for them. Next up, News Geelong caught up with Anglesey Football Club President David Cook, who is the Geelong and District Coaches Association Personality of the Year. Well, Cookie, you were the only one nominated in your category. Did you think you were a chance? That's what I told Dave Robertson to have $2,000 on a sports bet. But uh, then I said, hang on, there could be a late entry. So I didn't know what was happening. But no, it's very nice to win the award. Yeah. How much does the Anglesey Football Club mean to you? The Anglesey Football Club means a fair bit. Uh, I've been there for 20 odd years now and done a variety of things in the place. In between calling the footy with uh, Noel Fanning and Ron Brain over many years, but always got back and helped out behind the bar or found something to do, MC, a few nights. But when I finished up doing the footy, I decided that uh, I'd be involved in the footy club at a higher level and all of a sudden I had the president's job. So that was a bit of a shock, but... Look, I love the place. That uh, It's a good club. There's good people. Very tight. We're a long way from everywhere else, basically. We've got a population of 2,000 people, yet we're pretty competitive most of the time. Are you keen to stay on as president for as long as you can? Well, I said I'd do two. I've done three. I'm heading for four now. I'm not sure when that'll all end, to tell you the truth. But, look, I, I won't step aside until there's someone ready to, to take it on. I haven't got a vice president at the moment, but if someone puts a hand up and wants to do a year as vice president and then take it on, I'll be happy to step aside. But until that day, I'll, uh, I'll keep on trying to do what we're doing down there. 
Well, you've got this lovely character character chair of yourself. Are you happy with how it turned out? Actually, I think it looks a fair bit better than I do when I, when I look at that. Uh, the only thing is with the guitar, I've played a bit of guitar over the years. Uh, I've never played a chord as badly as that. I can I can hit a note on the guitar and uh, someone's just made a mess of that one. But everything else is very good. Yeah. Uh, well, good. Thank you very much for your time. Congratulations, Cookie. I almost thought I was talking to two of you then. This weekend, Premier League tennis is back in town. So News Geelong thought we'd preview the upcoming matches. First of all, the ladies will be hosting Dendy Park at Geelong Lawn Tennis Club tomorrow afternoon, so get on down there. It will be a big match as the ladies are trying to secure a spot in next week's grand final. The spot's probably already secured, but a win would be nice just to guarantee everything. We smashed Dendy Park last time, but two of our ranked girls, Alenka Hubercek and Annalise Tepper, are over in Western Australia playing in a tournament. So they won't be playing, but hopefully we'll have them back next week for the grand final. Meanwhile, the men are taking on Kuyong at Kuyong in Sunday's semi-final and I can't wait for this. Not only will it be a great match, but there's sure to be some lovely scones for afternoon tea at Kuyong as well. Although Kuyong get the home final, we'll be confident having beaten them last time, but this time they'll have former world number 24 Richard Fromberg out there to help them. So we'll, be have, so we'll have to be at the top of our game. And wouldn't it just be absolutely fantastic to have both teams playing in the grand final in their first seasons? I'll let you know exactly what's happening when I come back for more sport next Wednesday, but until then, it's back to you, Rollo. Thank you, Nathan. You have a good weekend and let's hope the weather will be kinder for the next few days. Talking of weather, it's been tempered here in Geelong this week, but will it continue to improve? Sparkling Lani Salathiel joins us with the latest for the coming weekend. A very good evening, Lani. Thanks, Graham. Well, a nice day in store for tomorrow. Let's take a look at the forecast. For Saturday, a mostly sunny day with a maximum of 22. For Sunday, we're looking at a cloudy day, some isolated light showers developing during the morning, increasing to scattered showers by early evening, isolated thunderstorms with gusty winds in the afternoon, afternoon and evening, a maximum of 24. So a bit of everything on Sunday. For next week, Monday, a cloudy day, some isolated showers, Early on in the morning, a maximum of 21. For Tuesday, a mostly sunny day with some light winds around in Geelong, a maximum of 20. And for Wednesday, becoming cloudy again, some isolated showers later on in the day and a maximum of 25. And today we had a partly cloudy day, a minimum of 6 and a maximum of 20. Aries Inlet had a top of 18 and a top of 20 at Avalon. So some nice weather for tomorrow and I'll be jumping out of a plane at 10,000 feet going skydiving. Hopefully I'm back next week. I'll see you then, Graham. Thank you, Lani. You too enjoy your weekend. And thank you for being with us on News Geelong Friday edition. Remember, to all out in Humble Street, East Geelong, take your time and smell the flowers. From all the team at News Geelong, have a safe and enjoyable weekend and a very good night.